I'm almost positive the first ever watercolor palette I ever used was a Crayola watercolor set sometime around the age of five. I remember being mesmerized by the fact that water could somehow change these solid forms into this magic liquid that could coat any white page. At the time, I didn't really think of color values or gradients, highlights, shadows. <laughs> but crying out loud, I didn't even care that the page was warping underneath the loads of water that I was placing on the page. Rather, I was just having fun and playing. But something changed as I got older. I lost that love to just play and create. I had this pressure to continually outdo my last painting, but there is a major flaw with this mindset. Once you stop playing, you stop learning. You see, if you really want to learn something new, you have to just get your hands dirty. Expect to make mistakes, perhaps even totally screw up. But by doing so, you are actively learning. And that is exactly what I'm doing today actively learning with this cheap Crayola paints that I haven't used in years. I knew this probably wouldn't go according to plan, but heck, I learned quite a bit along the way. First, I learned these paints aren't staining, basically meaning that it was nearly impossible to layer or glaze over these paints once they had dried. Second, I learned that working in sections or blocks of color was a great technique in keeping my colors bright, yet not allowing my already dried layers of paint to reactivate and mingle with my new layers of paint that I was trying to use. And third, I learned that sticking with harmonious colors is the best way to keep these little critters vibrant and bright. So let's sum things up. First, don't ever be afraid to play and even make mistakes. It's kind of like riding a bike. You learn a lot quicker by doing it yourself than just watching someone else do it. Even if you fall into a bush along the way like I did so many years ago. But I learned how to balance on a bike eventually. And the same is true with watercolor. So I hope you enjoyed this and I challenge you to also take the cheap watercolor challenge. Go ahead and take some really cheap watercolors and just play around with them and see what happens. As always y'all, it's been a pleasure and I will see you in the next video.